Welcome back to Silverback Custom Works. Just wanted to update everybody as to where we were on this little uh, 1963 Scout 80 project that we've been working on. Well, she's all done, ready for the customer. Give you a little walk around here so you can see. Real pretty metallic blue used back in the 60s. This truck was a uh, an upgrade truck. We did install Scout 2 axles under it and got rid of the Dana 27 axles. It's got uh, disc brakes now, power steering, power brakes. A little funner to drive and uh, a little more comfortable. You know, it's something that the customer can enjoy. And then, uh, you know, in the 60s, these little Scouts with no power steering and no power brakes, they weren't real fun. You know, it wasn't a real pleasant truck to drive. It was a utility vehicle. That's what it was made for. It wasn't made to, to be a smooth, luxurious ride. And uh, what we're trying to do is, is upgrade that a little bit for the customer, give them something that they can enjoy that's fun to drive. This truck was a real low miles truck, 13,000 miles, original. Um, it was uh, pretty beat up, you know, it had been used in its life, but the rust was very minimal. It's got the 152 four cylinder, the T90 three speed. A shot of the engine compartment here. As you can see, we fabricated a bracket for the uh, power steering. Obviously, these didn't have power steering on them, so there was no, no readily available brackets, so something we had to fabricate. Adapted a power steering brake booster off of a Scout, as well as a Scout 2 steering gear. Relocated that to uh, inside the frame rail location, more like the Scout 2, as you can see right there. We abandoned the original location out, out in that spot for the uh, for the little bit more sanitary location. As you can see, I think that's a pretty good shot right there. And then the brake booster. That's something that uh, this thing just drives like a dream. Goes down the road nice and straight. Like I said, it's got the Scout 2 axle underneath of it. Dana 44 is front and back. Gives it a little bit wider stance. You know, it kind of, as you can see right there, the tire is out a little more pronounced than what the, uh, the actual stock 16 inch wheels were back in 1963. And it gives you the ability to add some nice radial rubber to it and it rides super. This thing goes down the road just as smooth and sweet as you can dream. It's a fun, fun little ride, you know. It's, uh, it's something that he could get in and, and take to the grocery, drive around, drive his family around. This does have a bulkhead in it with the spare tire mount there. It does have a rear seat added to it. I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, let's see here. Try to show you on the odometer. 13,000. 162 miles. <clears throat> we did spray the interior floors with uh, Raptor Liner. Adds a lot of longevity to them, seals them up. This uh, truck was undercoated, um, strip sealed and primed, and under painted and undercoated underneath, as well as Raptor lined inside on top of the, the OE blue paint so it has a lot of protection to it a lot of uh, a lot of protection we added seat belts to this to this vehicle for safety reasons for the customer he does have a couple small kids and uh, he wants to be able to take them in a safe manner and enjoy this truck drive it If you want to check out more still pictures of this, you know, go to our website, silverbackcustomworks.com, and you'll see a lot more posted still pictures. Um, 
a lot of in process stuff that you can see on this was, uh, during during the the frame off restoration and and how things were put together as well as you know different things that we did to to add longevity to this truck and yet at the same time still save you know the historic nature and uh you know what it is it's a low miles 1963 truck it's something that that this customer should be very proud of it's a it's a once in a lifetime find something with that low of miles so we're just happy that that we built this truck for him and he allowed us to to put him together something nice and well we'll be seeing you later everybody uh, just stay tuned to silverback custom marks thanks